Well, welcome to another Friday edition of Link's Daily Devotional. Dennis Darbell with you today. We begin 2024 with a four-part series simply entitled Remembering. Uh, you know how this works. Uh, we all live this way at, at various levels. Uh, certain memories come to our mind that bring us great joy. And then, of course, other memories, unsolicited memories, many times haunt us. And learning to forget those things that need to be forgotten and learning to remember those things uh, that need to be remembered really is a critical part of learning to walk with Jesus Christ. Scripture is chock full of admonitions um, telling us to remember certain things and telling us to forget certain things. Uh, it was a number of years ago now, but uh, uh, I was still in the golf industry at the time, and I had become friends with Doug Sanders, and I was staying in his home in Houston, and one particular evening, we were reflecting on life, mostly Doug reflecting on his long and storied career, and I'd gotten close enough to him to ask him some very personal questions. So I asked him, Doug, how often do you remember that very shortish putt that you had in 1970 to win the Open? Of course, you know he missed it and uh, he would lose the next day in a playoff with with the great Jack Nicholas. And he looked at me with furrowed brow and with a little bit of a grimace on his face. He said, well, only every night uh, before I go to sleep. And so it was very obvious for Doug that that was a memory that brought a lot of pain um, in his life. Well, we're not unlike Doug, right? There are memories in our life that can sabotage our walk with God. There are memories in our life that can actually bolster confidence in our life so that we can move on with Christ. Well, Scripture is loaded, just chock full of admonitions and encouragements to us to remember certain things and to forget certain things. And you know how this works. I mean, this is true on and off the golf course. On the golf course, we can be standing over a particular shot and a memory from a previous round or from an earlier part of the round that you're in where you had something very similar to execute and you didn't pull it off. And so at that point, what do you do? Well, you need to back off, clear the memory banks, clear the slate and start over and call up a memory, perhaps an imagery in your mind so that you can ex execute the shot in front of you. And, and the same is true uh, on the other side of this issue. You can be standing before a shot or about to approach a shot and the memory of a previous shot earlier in your career and you go, wow, I have this shot. And it actually produces something in you that you know you can execute that shot. Well, I want to talk to you over the next few Fridays about the importance of remembering the things worth remembering and forgetting those things that tend to sabotage our life. And scripture is just chock full of Lots of admonitions about forgetting and remembering. Uh, one that comes to mind is Philippians chapter 3. Uh, the Apostle Paul says, This one thing I do, in other words, he's focused, this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press forward to this upward call of God in Christ Jesus. In other words, Paul is saying, that which he's laid hold of me for, that which he's, another translation says, that which God had apprehended him for, he wants to press on to apprehend that which God had called him to. And in order to do that, there were certain things he needed to forget. And yet, the psalmist in Psalm 103 would say, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget none of his benefits. And then he begins to sort of enumerate a handful of those benefits. He would say, uh, bless the Lord and forget none of his benefits. He's forgiven me my iniquities. He's healed me. He's crowned me with loving kindness. And so over and over again, from Genesis to Revelation, we are encouraged to remember certain things and to forget certain things. And in order for us to 
walk with Christ in an unspoiled way, uh, this is this is something that we need to train ourselves to do. And so we're going to just take the next few Fridays and think about the importance of remembering and forgetting. Uh, I hope you'll read today's devotional. Uh, this one uh, is particularly personal to me. It's the result of having a recent conversation with my 93-year-old father who just took me down uh, memory lane as we reflected on certain seasons of our shared life together, and it really moved me deeply. So God bless. I'm glad you joined us uh, this Friday. I hope you'll join us for the next three Fridays as we think about this theme of remembering and forgetting. Uh, beginning in February and then continuing into March, the Lord willing, Jeffrey and I, Jeffrey Cranford, our president and I, will um, actually march through, walk through, think about the book of Titus and all that Titus has to teach us. So again, God bless. I wish you just the greatest of 2024. Look forward to walking together in Christ. Uh, in the upcoming weeks uh, together. So God bless. See you next Friday.